So when we do critical path analysis, you are essentially finding the longest path through the network. And let's say uh, we wanted to do critical path analysis on this network here, uh, where S is the first uh, event and T is the final event. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do here is we're first of all going to consider it as a critical path problem. Uh, we're going to work out uh, what the earliest completion time and latest completion time is for each of the vertices. Um, and then we're going to take a look at another way of actually writing down the linear programming problem um, that could be used to solve it. So there is this alternative that we need to be aware of. So I'm going to need a box for each of my vertices. Okay. So uh, earliest event time first for the forward pass. So that would be zero. Okay. Now um, I don't want to consider that one just yet because I've got both the 8 and the 13 going into it. So I'm going to go down here. So the earliest completion time there would be 5. Then for A, it's either going to be 5 plus 13, which is 18, or 8. You take the larger of the two, so 18. And then we've got 18 plus 20 is 38, or 5 plus 9 is 14, so 38 is the earliest completion time. And then the backward pass, that's going to have to be 38. So 38 take away 20 uh, will get me the 18. Okay. Um, now 18 take away 13 uh, will leave me with 5. Or 38 take away 9 will leave me with um, 29. Okay, so I take the smaller of those two, which is the 5. And then uh, going back, we've got 18 take away 8, which is 10, or 5 take away 5, which is 0. And so we take the uh, smallest of those two. Okay, so that would be uh, working through this as um, using critical path analysis, uh, finding the early event and late event times. Okay. Now, that's just to kind of like remind yourselves of how CPA worked and what we would do in this scenario. So, um, how can we formulate this as a linear programming problem? Well, um, what we want to do is essentially we want to minimise the value that is at the end vertex. So the end vertex here has a value of 38. Okay, that we've just worked out. So we would want to minimise t. Okay, because we want to complete the uh, the job in the smallest amount of time, least amount of time. So we want to minimise the value that's at t at the end value. Okay. Right now, what we do next is we kind of work our way through the network, considering each of the vertices in turn. So. Starting at S, let's go to B first. Now, B, um, because of SB being 5, okay, so that, um, that job takes 5 hours or something like that, then we could only get to B after at least 5 hours have been completed. Okay, so at least 5 hours need to have been completed in order to achieve that job there. So the value at B, so subject to, the value at B has got to be at least 5. So we're going to use greater than or equal to uh, inequalities here. Now for A, because we've got this event that takes 8 hours, A needs to be at least 8, okay, in order to, for that job to be completed. But A also depends on B. So we can also write down that A must be at least whatever the value is at B plus 13. 
So whatever the value is at B, I need another 13 hours to complete this job in order to get to event A. So I can write down that inequality there. Then, uh, for T, BT we know is 9. Okay, So I can write down that T has got to be greater than or equal to 9 plus whatever value is at B. And T has also got to be greater than or equal to 20 plus whatever value is at A. Okay, and so that is my linear programming problem. Now, the only thing is that this is in a non-standard form. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you were to use Lindo uh, to type this in, it won't understand it. Um, and the reason is because it expects its constraints to have all of the variables on the left-hand side of the inequality or equation. So, in essentially, in the way that you would expect to put it into the simplex algorithm. So, these ones are fine. But these three, you would instead have to write as A take away B is greater than or equal to 13. T take away B is greater than or equal to 9. And T take away A is greater than or equal to 20. So, you may see uh, mark schemes or questions that involve this form instead and you need to decipher what's going on.